uh, Brandon. He says, uh, what constitutes a slasher to horror fans would be an interesting topic. Why aren't films like Halloween and Black Christmas seen as slashers? But Psycho and Texas Chainsaw Massacre aren't by any. That's a good topic. That's a good topic, Brandon. Let's unpack this. Okay, let's unpack this. All right. And there's no... Um, it's this, this is more opinion based. I can't give you a factual answer. I can tell you what I consider to be a slasher. And really for me, it's simple. Um, there has to be stalking involved and some people might disagree with that and that's fine. But I, I think it, it, for me, it's better if there is a villain that is after, um, one person and they'll kill anybody in their way to get to that person or they're just killing for killing's sake because they want to kill okay to me that is a slasher now you can vary outside of that formula all day probably and you'd be right but i think that's my basic definition of a slasher would you guys agree with that and if you don't tell me your definition of a slasher okay now, let's unpack uh, which movies he's talking about. Okay. Uh, I'll start with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I've had this argument a million times. And it does depend on which movie you're talking about. Because I think there are some Texas movies that might be considered slashers. But um, like Carly's saying right there, that's it. Reverse Home Invasion is a good one. I think the thing with Texas Chainsaw Massacre is... Leatherface, at least in the first movie, is not hunting anybody. He is, he's settled in, he's making macaroni and cheese and hamburger helper, or doing whatever he's got to do. You know, he's, he's going about his day. He's, he's in his house. These strangers from out of nowhere just come upon him. And he's like, what the fuck? What are you doing in my house? I'm crazy, so I'm going to kill you. That's what, that's what a, uh, and I'm going to clip this out, okay? This is getting clipped out, all right. So, so to me, and let me know if you guys agree with me. To me, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, at least the first movie, is definitely not a slasher. Now, if the, if the person is chasing after somebody later in the movie that had come upon him, um, I, I think that's fair game because they, again, they encroached upon him, okay? And all he's trying to do is get them the fuck out of there. He's not trying to kill this person and this person and this person because he's enjoying it. He's so to me, it's more of a home invade, like a reverse home invasion. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a unique situation, to be honest. You know, I call some people might call it like a backwoods slasher. That's what they call it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my definition for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, and I know a lot of people consider it to be a slasher, but I like there to be stalking in a slasher movie. I like there to be a killer. Um, like say Valentine, you know, the guy she's freaking, um, not, um, well, Valentine's a slasher, but I was thinking like a hospital massacre, you know, and he, and, uh, you got this crazed insane killer and he's wanting to kill people in this hospital. And, and he has a, uh, I think he has a cert Barbie bitten. He wants to get to Barbie bitten, but he'll kill anybody that gets in his way to get to Barbie bitten. That's a slasher. All right. Halloween, Michael Myers. He wants to get to Lori Strode. He'll kill anybody that gets in his way to get to Laurie Strode. That is a bona fide classic slasher. All right. Now, let's talk about Psycho. Because this is definitely an interesting one to unpack. It really is. I need to take a drink because I really have to think about Psycho for a sec. All right. You think about Psycho too. All right. Um. Uh, Erica says, see, there you go, Lee, your first TCM comment. He wasn't hunting anyone. They came to him technically, at least not until part eight. Everyone comes to Jason, not the other way around. Right. Okay. That is a good point. Well, everyone comes to Jason because they're wanting to go to summer camp, right? They're not coming to Jason specifically. They're going to summer camp. I think they accidentally happened upon Leatherface. You know, they were looking for help. Whereas um, Friday the 13th, they're coming to summer camp. They're doing, you know, they're having their fun. And then Jason is just killing them one by one and having a, a jolly old good time. Um, I guess what it all comes down to is if Jason actually is doing it for like he enjoys it. 
Is he or is he doing it because he doesn't want them there? And I'm not sure. Erica, you bring up a good point. I'm not sure if I know the answer to that. I'm trying to think about this for a sec. Does Jason, is he killing them because he's enjoying killing them? Because he's crazy in the head. Although Leatherface is crazy in the head too. Or, or is he just want them away from Crystal Lake? Does he want them away from Crystal Lake? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right. Um, Psycho. Psycho. Man, that Psycho's a tough one. Psycho's a tough one because you can you got to really think about this one. I would say knee-jerk reaction, yes. I would say knee-jerk reaction, yes, because Marion Crane, she ends up staying at the Bates Motel, okay? Norman becomes infatuated with her. Um well, and and the Norman himself doesn't want to kill her, but Mother wants to kill her. Mother definitely wants to kill her. You know, Mother's not protecting herself. Mother wants to kill her. All right. Um, and uh, so when she gets in the shower, that's what happens. That's what happens. Um, so I would say yes. I would. I mean, I think that's that's kind of cut and dry, don't you think, guys? So let me read Erica's response. So Jason shares his mother's loathing for teens showing up to have sex and neglect children. And that was always my guess. See, now you, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you can drive yourself crazy because the very definite, because I think Jason does stalk. Am I right on that, guys? Aren't there some movies where you see Jason kind of like you see the killer's point of view, you know, and he's he's he, he's he's closing in on his prey, you know, and so I think that's where I I draw the difference between Friday and 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 Texas Chainsaw Massacre because there's really no like killer's point of view with Leatherface. There's no stalking, you know. Whereas Jason, maybe he wants them out of there, but. He is, he's got a plan and he's closing in on the attack. Um, he doesn't see them. As, I, here it is. Here it is, Erica. I think this is it. He doesn't see them as trying to attack him. You know, like, like this is a, a, a Texas Chancellor Massacre is a house. It's a very, it's a smaller environment. Whereas Camp Crystal Lake, it's a massive freaking area of land. You know, he knows people are going to come there. That's what, that's what summer camp is. It's a place for kids and and people to come and, and, and hang out and swim and all this stuff. And so I think Jason, he likes that stalking, you know, he, he likes killing these people. So I think he stalks. I think that's the difference. I think that's the difference. Let's see what you guys think. Okay. Hold on. Um, uh, Brandon says literally Sam Loomis in Halloween was named after Sam Loomis in psycho. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Uh, Aaron says, uh, yeah, but Jason can't claim an entire lake. His home, yes, but that... Thank you, Aaron! Aaron, that's it. Aaron, you, you get the... Uh, you, you get the, the, the ghost face uh, hello. Yay! He, yeah, Aaron, Aaron gets it. He's cool. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Aaron, you just said literally what I just said. It's it's the environment, right? It's the environment, okay? if he, he, And I'll even take it even further. Because Jason does have a home, Okay. And if, if these teenagers like came into his home, that little shack that he has in part two, uh, if then it wouldn't be stalking. He'd be like, you're in my house. I'm going to fucking kill you. You know, then it would be a leather face type situation, but because it's, you know, it's summer camp, it's crystal Lake. Yeah. So I, I definitely see Jason as a stalker. There's definitely differences between Jason and leather face. All right. But there's similarities too. There's definitely similarities. They're both kind of messed up in the head, you know. Uh, but this is a fun discussion. It's a really fun discussion. All right. Um, uh, Brad says, "I've always thought Friday Three's Jason solidified he was just a crazy loon who loved it." <laughs> yeah, I do think he loves it. <laughs> Cause hell, when she takes off his mask, he's like smiling at her. <laughs> so he's having a good time. Like he just had hamburger helper or something. Right. Um, yeah. Jason was out for the revenge and he does stalk. Thank you. Carly says J- Jason definitely stalks. Um, so by that definition, it's a slasher. Uh, Trina says Jason pursues people for sure. Um, 
Aaron says, Jason wanted to kill anyone that reminded him of the people that killed him at that camp. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I will say this, though, in Erica's defense. If if nobody showed up at Crystal Lake, I don't think Jason would go out hunting people. Although, although he did at the beginning of uh, uh, part two. He wasn't at Crystal Lake at the beginning. He actually went to Alice. He stalked Alice. He wanted to kill Alice. So, yeah. Yeah, Jason's a, he's a slasher. He's a slasher. Okay. Uh, let me let me uh, let me read the rest of Brandon's question here. That was a good that was a good conversation right there. What's up, guys? You are at the end of the DD Live clip. Uh, what I do is I like to clip these out if I think the the topic is important or something that's newsworthy. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to watch more, you can you can go over here. You can go over here. Click on one of those. And uh, yeah, in uh, hopefully I can do this for twenty seconds, which I think I did. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching.